Thankless Crow got punishment. There was a stream in the forest, and around this stream there was a crow's nest on a people tree and a mina's nest on another tree. Both of them had a deep friendship. The crow was very clever, always used cunning. On the contrary, Mina was a straightforward and kind animal and was useful to everyone. On the contrary, the crow used to fly around in the forest all day long and snatch away any food it saw. One night, guests came to Mina's house. Mina happily started cooking. The children of the guests got busy playing with Mina's children. Coincidentally, there was no salt in the salt container. Mina was very worried. Now where did she get the salt late at night? I thought let's bring salt from the crow's house. Mina started knocking on the door of the crow's house. It was dark in the crow's house. Who is the crow shouting from inside? Why is the door being knocked? The crow came running to the door, quickly opening the door and lovingly said, Oh my sister, why did you come so late at night by yourself? If you had told me, I would have come by myself. But when he realised that Mina couldn't see anything, he became very disappointed and he said in a restrained manner, What's the matter? Gone. All the shops in the village are closed. I thought your house is full of salt. Take salt from you. Please give me some salt. Your mind is not damaged. Mina, coming so late at night has not only disturbed my sleep, the house has become a warehouse of salt, which I will take out. Go and do your work. Your house is made of salt. Take out a little bit and put it in the food. Hey, go away. Have you come to disturb me? Mina was very surprised by the behaviour of the crow. She could not imagine that the crow would be so arrogant and forgetful of kindness. She said, Hey brother, just think about it. I am always there for you and I have never let you down for any need. Hey go, Bermina. He closed the door of the house. Tears came to Mina's eyes. She didn't expect this kind of thing from the crow. The poor girl came back home in tears. Poor Mina fed the guests food without salt. After eating, everyone went to sleep. Suddenly, cold wind started blowing and clouds covered the sky everywhere and then it started raining. Mina's house was made of wax and became stronger from the rain. But the crow's house, which was made of salt, was destroyed in a single rainstorm. It was done. All day long he started trying to hide from here and there. Not even an animal showed him any sympathy. At last he fell down and came to Mina's house. He went to the door and started making noises. Mina, sister, Mina, sister, open the door, I am dying. Mina quickly opened the door and saw the crow, badly soaked in the rain, shivering from the cold. Mina quickly called the crow into the house and took him to a room and laid him on a warm bed and put a quilt on him. Give him warm things to eat. What was bad behaviour? Even Mina could have forbidden it, but Mina did not take revenge from me. He started repenting to Allah. In the morning, Mina took hot tea and egg and reached the room to give breakfast to the crow and said while making a sound, Get up, brother. Have breakfast. Make a sound again and again. But the crow didn't say anything. Mina panicked and lifted the quilt and saw the crow lying dead. He had received the punishment for his behaviour and cruelty, which he will pay as he does.